Welcome. So, all right, so what we have is 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5, and those are our two points, and what they're asking us to do is write an equation in our slope-intercept form, and we're going to do that by using point-slope form. Now, notice on this point-slope form, we have the y2, y1, x2, and x1. So I'm just going to simply label my coordinates in that manner. So I'll say these will be y1, x1, and y1. These will be x2 and y2. And again, like remember when we were doing the slope formula, it doesn't matter how you order them or how you uh, label each coordinate as long as you're consistent. So now, the first thing I'm going to do is let's just plug them into the formula and see what happens. So if I'm going to plug them in, y2 is 5 minus y1, 3 equals m times x2 minus x1. So what you notice is by plugging them in, the only value that I have unknown is m. And remember, m is going to represent our slope for our equation or of our line. So therefore, by now plugging in both points, I'm now solving for our m. So therefore, we have 2 equals m times 2. Divide by 2. So we could say m equals 1. Therefore, the slope of this equation is going to be 1. Now, to be able to actually write the equation, I now know that m equals 1. And all I need to do by using point slope form is I just need to pick one of these points. I just need one point. I don't need two of them. The only thing helpful about having the two points is I can determine the slope. But now to write the equation, I only need one point. So we like to go back to this equation and to say, all right, I'm going to use this equation. And I can use y1 or x1. Or I could use y2 and x2. Well, since we already have the equation with y1, x1, let's use that. So I have y1, x1, so it would be 2, comma 3. And this is like the previous problems that I showed you, where we say this is x1 and this would be y1. So now let's just plug them into our point slope equation. So I have y minus y1, which is 3, equals 1 times x minus x2. Well, applying distributive property times 1 is not really going to do much for us, since 1 times anything is going to be what you multiply it by. So that's going to be x minus 3. And then I'll add 3. That's 2. So therefore, y equals x plus 1. And that is now our equation in slope-intercept form between these two points. Thanks.